everybody. Thanks for joining me for Banks Journal Holiday 2020. Um, unprecedented times. Uh, I just wanted to say that I really appreciate the business that we're doing together with uh, Banks. I'm really happy to hear that spring sold as well as it did. Uh, obviously that had a lot to do with timing, being able to ship it earlier in the year definitely helped everybody. Uh, but I appreciate those who uh, worked with us and I'm really happy, like I said, that spring was as successful as it was. I wish we'd had more of an opportunity to do repeats with you. But as it is, we are where we are. Uh, that being said, I'm very happy that it looks like things are reopening. I hope very much so that this weekend uh, we have lots of people coming in the door and we see some enthusiasm at retail. So I'm wishing everybody the best on that. Uh, for before we get into holiday, I want to say that obviously this is a lot of a lot is in flux at the moment, and as we go into fall, uh, if we have any issues, if there is a reoccurrence, if there's some sort of spike that throws everybody off in the fall, I will be work, here to work with you to find ways to make it work for you. If we have to push shipments out, uh, if we have to make some moves, we're going to make some moves, and I'm I'm here to help you with that, um, and I. Yeah, I appreciate you. So, anyway, uh, showing from the garage. Collection's not huge, but very much a good holiday collection. Uh, a lot of cold weather gear. Some carryovers you'll recognize from fall, but not a huge amount. Like, I think it's actually about five pieces, maybe six total. Um, but some really nice wovens, uh, great organic cotton fleeces and just some fun, just some good holiday pieces, should be some good gift, gift giving stuff. In fact, some good loungewear stuff too, so that may be good for holiday. Uh, the collection is kind of, it's put together in uh, almost like colorway themes. So the first one we start on starts out with that label hat, which is obviously a style we've been doing a while. Uh, they're 1950 for 40. That's the new colorway. The black is the carryover. And then we have the label fleece. Again there, the black is the carryover. The new color there is the salmon. And there's the henna. There was a red, a baked clay in fall. They are not the same. Um, this is much darker, um, in case you're wondering. But it just has that one logo hit on it. 100% organic cotton, and there's the black that we saw in fall. Those guys are 41 for 85. <clears throat> These are Canadian prices in case any of the Americans are watching, because I just found out recently that a bunch of American accounts have been watching these. Uh, your pricing is right in your catalog. <laughs> uh, next is the Oblivious, uh -huh, Oblivious Long Sleeve Woven. Pretty nice, um, I'd say like window plaid. I don't have an actual catalog because of the way things are. Brushed yarn dye check, cotton blend fabric. Uh, and this is 60% cotton, 20, 40% polyester. And is 43.50 or 90. Like that one. Again, coconut buttons there, detailed, they all, they all say Banks Journal. Also in the pockets, same thing and the dual buttons for fit on the sleeves, cuffs, excuse me. <clears throat> Next up we have the blurry on the catalog because it's an old iPad, uh, excuse me, the lasting. Uh, now the short sleeve woven here is 26.50 for 55. I like this one. This is a yarn dyed. Uh, it's not like a textured fabric like we've seen in others. That is an embroidery. Nice fine flower, or I guess it would be like a dandelion, uh, I'd say. But I like the stripe. Good. Holiday though, so probably see more sales in the long sleeve with the quarter neck polo long sleeve. Good contrast. That kind of like baked clay collar and cuffs. Yeah, I like that one. And that one is $31.50 for $65 in the long sleeve. The Roy long sleeve is a fall carryover. 
Uh, that has those nice green buttons on it. I really like this piece. We, I think it's actually now a two season carryover and there were other colors in previous seasons, but this one's great. Uh, and that's $43.50, Now I'm actually wearing the black of this, but I have the extra sample. This is the Vision Fleece, 34 for 70. These are always some of my favorite to show and they sell really well. Uh, I think every fall looking had the Vision on it and the Preston on it in the Preston's and Bone. So we have a new Preston as well. All the trans seasonal stuff does great. It's just great, like, you know, it's a, it was a really warm day today when it wasn't raining. Uh, <clears throat> and I could wear this in the evening uh, in the warmer months and it's not too hot. Just, it's light enough and comfortable enough and yeah, I like it a lot. It's one of my absolute favorite pieces. Staples, some new long sleeves. Um, I don't have the white, black, and color gray short sleeves of this. They've been in line forever, you know what they look like. There's your white and new dirt, like wash black. Really like that wash black actually. And there's a, another new one in the long sleeve. That's 26, 50, 55. And there's your kind of army green, which you'll see I'll tie into a, a collection coming up, or some collection coming up in the catalog. To, in the catalog, you'll see the label tote is next. It's the same one we've had for quite some time. Um, no changes there, no new colors or anything. But the primary pocket tee in bone, henna, and dirty black. I have all three as well. So there's the bone. Henna. And dirty black. Super comfy, no changes to fit, same as fall. Uh, actually, I don't think they even changed them before that, so. But, again, if you're doing good basics business, these are something that we do see bookings for pretty much every season. Uh, and those primary pockets are 22 for 45. Next up is the gallon, 2650 for 55, excuse me. That's the gallon, yeah. Off-white, like this actually. It's got a very fine, Thanks, journal embroidery jig there on the chest. But other than that, no other branding. Super clean. Actually, not a oh, tiny little flag there. Quite a few pieces have that, but barely even notice it. Uh, like it. Good beige, green, blue. 100% cotton. Organic oh, cotton. <clears throat> this is the bright and short sleeve, two colors, 41 for 85. That's your resort collar, or Cuban collar, at least what I would call it. Resort collar, this is a linen, I think it's a 50% linen. Let's see. Nope, sorry, 30% linen, 70% cotton. And uh, it's the camp collar. Cuban collar, resort collar, puppy collar. Just a good piece. So here's your more branded tees. Like these colorways. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Made for? Is that it? No, sorry. Okay. New beanie. This is the made for beanie. And the made for is, again, not in the catalog for me, but for you it is $24.50 for $50. Well, I like that insignia blue. I don't mind the yellow, but it is holiday, so it sort of depends on if you can pull that off. Now we're on to the label. Now, the label crew, <clears throat> $19.50 for $40, same price as it was before. And your colors here are saffron, bronze, and salmon in that order. That is saffron. That is bronze. And that is salmon. Next, really like the green one. Uh, <clears throat> label crew. Now, I only have the two colors. I'm slightly weirded out 
Because it's weird, in my opinion, to call this bronze, but I guess it could be considered bronze. It looks like very light army green to me, um, but I do quite like it. Anyway, um, 36, 50 for 75. I like them both, to be honest, actually. I don't mind that saffron in the uh, crew, but I would wear this one. Love that, actually. It's awesome. Okay. Good. Getting into a few principles here. This first one's the, uh, there's actually three in a row called the West Coast. There's West Coast short sleeve, the long sleeve, and the crew. So this is the West Coast short sleeve in bone and saffron. Just that everyday journeys print on the back. Probably of the holiday pieces, the most, one of the more surfy ones in the basic prints. There's a little bit more later. Like the long sleeves, these are washed. So these are, are more like a pigment dye. Um, these are washed down. I prefer the washed. I really like that washed black. I think that looks awesome. Short sleeve is 22 for 45. Long sleeve is 26.50 for 55. And the crew is 38.50 for 80. So there's the crew. Only black in that one. This one's 80% cotton, 20 poly, I think. Yes, uh, but organic cotton and recycled poly. And it's a 330, it's a nice weight, good holiday weight, it's not um, like too light. Uh, yeah, I like that, and that is a nice terry fleece. There is a West Coast hat. That's a micro cord with embroidery and just like the buckle and brass furniture for the snap. And I believe it's 22, yep, 22 to 45. Cool. Next up is the change. Two colors, black and white. Funky, kind of music-y, label-ish print, like it. 24.50 for 50. Sidewalk. Two colors. 22 for 45. Like the white of these two. They both look good, but I like the white. I don't know if you can see that in the good one. Okay. Two more prints. <clears throat> Module. 22 for 45 again there. These look great. Has the store locations on the back, which in fact, there is a fourth location now in Japan, or uh, in Hawaii. And it's not there. I imagine that'll eventually get written on the, on some of the tees. <laughs> I think it's in Waikiki, pretty sure. Yeah. Next print. Another black and white here is the heading, and there's a uh, hooded version of this as well. Twenty-four fifty for fifty. No back hit on that, just the front. It's kind of like a Law and Order print. Type set. And there's your fleece. These are nice and heavy duty, actually. I think these are going to be three hundred GSM. They are three hundred, yeah, GSM. And they're 80% cotton, 20% recycled poly, organic cotton. These are great. And they are 41 for 85. That's actually a really good price for them, too. Uh, label towel, we've seen that over and over. It's the black towel with Banks Journal right across it. Um, 26, 50, 55, everywhere. I like this one. I'm partial for this to like the sort of address T style, just that chest hit. I like this. Very cool. Covered in random fur. It's the only one so far, the only one that's had it in anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 22 for 45. That hood is 41 for 85. 
Uh, I like the contrast on that gray with the blueprint. That's strong. I like that one. Sorry if you hear the rain at some point. It's kind of been on and off. I've been trying to bail the film this without it being pouring. Um, okay, so I think this is coming up. These three pieces are probably my favorite three new pieces in the line. Um, Big Bear Fleece Short, the Bueno, and the Primary Track Tank. The reason I like them so much is they're all facing the same material. This is awesome. It's 100% cotton. Uh, I wish I was there to have you feel it, but it is super soft. Um, the reverse is a little like a tight woven, so I don't think it's going to feel really nice on. It's not going to be like kind of itchy or anything, but this is again 100% organic cotton, so super soft. That being the Big Bear, uh, that's the best selling uh, casual short. In this case, track short. Um, these are killer. Like those. And the Big Bear is thirty-eight fifty for eighty, and then these are just like come on, this is awesome. <laughs> like I can't even. These are so rad. Um, if you're gonna be stuck in the house, you might as well be stuck in the house in these. Um, the top is forty-one for eighty-five, and the track pant is forty-three fifty for ninety. Uh, it's the same track pant silhouette that we've been doing, and there's a later one in like a really nice gray. Uh, and this crew neck is just yes. It's yes. I think these are both yeses. If you like, it's for holiday. Come on, like these are awesome. I think these are gonna sell really well. And I don't think the sample's going back. Sorry. Not sorry. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Just check to make sure I didn't skip anything. Nope. Good. Yeah, the top was the bueno, the bottom was the primary, and just for the record, that is Terry Towel Slub. All three of them. So great. And it's, huh. It's funny, the label, we have to go back. The label does say in the hang tag, or in like woven in here, organic cotton, but that's the waistband. Uh, I should have jumped to that conclusion. These are made of 72% polyester, 28% cotton, and the rib is 63% polyester, 32% cotton, and 5% polyurethane. <laughs> Neat. Anyway, it's super soft. Because there's a lot of pollen in it, it won't shrink much, which is good, uh, and it probably won't stink too much either. So, anyway, I think they're still top notch. Next up, sorry for the delay there. Hunter Fleece, Trans Seasonal Crew, 100% uh, organic cotton. This is a 200 GSM, so lighter weight, uh, but still nice for holiday. And the Hunter is 34 for 70. Super clean, like just super minimal branding, clean there. Love the cross flat stitch, flat stitch on the yoke to show the yoke lines. Yeah, and I've always been partial to crew necks with the side panel. I feel like they fit way better. They're just way more flattering when they have that side panel. It just breaks things up. It makes it sit really nicely on the body. Anyway, top notch. Joked on that. Next. <clears throat> knit coming up here. This is the Berlin Knit. Now, this is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. Uh, now, when you put cashmere in things, it, it, it tends to cost some money. This is the Berlin. It's 60, 60 $50 for $125. So there's your cashmere effect, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Super, super soft. Very, very clean. Again, like no branding, just that little flag there. Perfect holiday, visiting with the family, going to dinner. If we're allowed to go to dinner. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a winner for sure. Bunch of carryovers coming up here. On the uh, order form, there's actually there's actually different color. So if you've seen that, you will, I don't know that you'll see it on the brand or the link, but there's probably a little something saying that carryover. The next four are carryovers. This is the Brooklyn Trench plaid trench. Um, there's another trench that I don't have. It's another colorway. It's shown as if it's a 
carry over, but I didn't have it in fall, and I don't recall seeing it in the catalog either. Um, the difference is it, it's just like a straight up kind of dirty black wash, whereas this is obviously the plaid version. Um, looks great. This sold actually fairly well, especially in some of my more high-end boutiques. Uh, yeah, it's got a nice lining in it. Anyway, we did do this in fall. It's not for everyone because it is a trench coat, but it's quite nice. Um, and it is 70 for 145. I was super pumped on this for fall. Probably will wear it for holiday. Uh, the puffer is awesome. I love the casual kind of cut of it. This is the Fahrenheit puffer. 89 for 185. Um, when I was in Edmonton for trends in March, right before this all went mental, uh, I, wore, I wore a different jacket there, jacket there and it wasn't warm enough and I wore this the rest of the time just for going back and forth from the show. It was quite cold. And uh, yeah, it was, I was perfectly comfortable in it. I really like it. I like the fit. I like how casual it is. I like the cuts different um, as opposed to everyone having a rab or a Gucci or whatever puffy. This is a really cool alternative puffy. So. Didn't book very well for me from fall. This is the Fahrenheit puffer. Oh, excuse me, orientation was it called. I like it. It's a cool take on the coach's jacket. It just, yeah. I think for California, this makes more sense because this is a jacket. Like, probably the warmest jacket you need in California most of the time. But for us, uh, we just need something a little bit more versatile for this time of year. More track pants. Who doesn't like track pants? I love these track pants. Um, this is the primary slub track. 43.50 for 90. Slub cotton. This one is the exact same or very close to the same material. Um, feels super soft, but obviously it's such a way different finish. This is a smooth finish, has that kind of slub look to it. There's your lining. Again, just nice high-end, comfy Banks track pants for inside the house or outside the house or wherever you have them going. And you want ultimate comfort. Next, we have the, this is a new pant. It is called the Shibuya Suit Crop, 2350 for 90 also. This one is 80% polyester, 20% rayon. The rayon obviously makes it kind of sit really flat, which is good. Uh, probably one of the more formal cuts I've seen from Banks. It is a cropped fit. Um, Probably not the most holiday friendly thing for us, but maybe for those people who are going on a trip, if they're able to go on trips, could be a good formal pant for that, where you're wearing some loafers with no socks. So, potentially. I like it. It's good. No pleats in the front like some of the past pieces have. Just a really nice, clean, suiting pant. Almost through her here, guys. Modern Mariner is the next collection. This is the Hanalea t-shirt. Obviously, lots of Hawaii inspiration coming through in the line uh, in fall, and we've had a lot of previous collections. Hawaii is just where a lot of the soul banks is with surfing and island culture. Beautiful place to be. Nice hula girl dancing on there, on the back and on the front. And that one's $24.50 for $50. The episode is up next. This is $79.50 for $165. When you see prices like that, you know there's going to be something in it, like Angora and wool. So this is 35% viscose, 29% wool, 20% nylon, and 8% Angora, and 8% cashmere. So, yeah. Uh, pullover, really nice, chunky gauge knit very soft it the color says bone but i gotta be honest i looked at it under the sun today and even now i still see it it is just like the 
lightest of pink. So, yes, bone, but I would almost edge on the same. I would, I would, wouldn't hesitate to say this is just a hue of pink. But I really liked it. Carry over. Episode jacket from fall. Wait a minute, did I jump ahead? Oh, I did them in the wrong order. Sorry, that was the, um, what we just did was the across. It's not as expensive as that. It is still 46 for 95. It's actually a great price for what it is. Uh, the episode jacket, 79.50 for 165. That's because there's so much more involved here. Uh, and that guy, 100% cotton canvas, and the lining is 100% flannel cotton. Uh, yeah, good. Did, from what I remember of fall, there's maybe only a few accounts that bought it, but it didn't, didn't do big numbers in this particular style. I do like it though. Good weight, but I would say it's actually more of a fall piece. Or damn it, at least. Okay, now we're back on track. Hayes Deluxe Fleece, 100% polyester shell, and the rib is 95% cotton, 5% poly uh, polyurethane. Um, this guy is 41 for 85. Uh, I really like this piece. It's kind of similar flavor to what you get here though. So it just depends, you know, obviously you're getting more detail if you're getting the yoke, the kind of raglan sleeve yoke. Um, that's like a fuse, because it's not, I don't even know if it's a full flat stitch. Yeah, I guess it would be considered a flat stitch, but it's, uh, if I had to choose one, I'd still go with that, just because you get the matching pants and shorts if you want to have that merchandising ability. But I do really like this piece. It is a different flavor color-wise and different cut. So also a winner. And there's your other big bear short there. This is in the micro cord walk short, 18 inch, half elastic, so elastic in the rear only. 98% cotton, 2% elastic, Cordura, 21W. Now, 21 being W being whale, I believe is what they're referring to there. Uh, higher the number, narrower the whale. We've done a lot of this short. We've done multiple colors. It does quite well. It is, however, holiday in Canada, so I don't think we're going to sell a ton of shorts. Spin Deluxe, 100% organic cotton. 100% organic cotton. 26.50 to 55. Make my life easier and move that over there. Uh, this is a woven stripe. Um, so you can feel this. It is really nice. High contrast, but I dig it. It's a bit sheer when you look at it through the light. You might be able to see that on your end too, but Ed, still very nice. Good long sleeve here for us. <clears throat> this is the Midtown. Fleece, technically, this is considered a transitional crew. Uh, it's a little lighter than you'd see from like the Preston or the Vision. 58% uh, polyester, 24% rayon, 13% cotton, 5% polyurethane, and 100% cotton rib. Uh, yeah, it's a yarn dyed melange stripe. Dig it. Can't feel this one because it's yarn dyed. Can't feel the and price is, I may have already said it, $36.50 for $75. <clears throat> Next, the Saint. You got a short sleeve and you got a polo here. Really like this as a basic. Uh, the Saint Deluxe T. This is 85% polyester, 10 15% linen, 140 GSM. Very nice weight. I like the blended, you know, kind of cotton slug looking but in this case, polyester and linen. That is a great, great tea. Just sort of slight upgrade from your other basics. You know what I mean? And then the polo, I think of the two, 
I have to lean towards the polo because I have less polos in the endless clothing. Uh, yeah, like it. Really like this fabric. Very clean piece. Short sleeve there was twenty-six fifty for fifty-five, and the la, uh, polo was twenty-nine for sixty. Giuseppe fleece. 36.50 for 75. This is actually interesting because when I first pulled it out, I thought it was like a thermal, but it's not. It's a different kind. Of, it's like a jacquard. Uh, I've never heard this before. Jacquard Ton Tao Stripe. Ton Tao. Uh, but it's knit and it's a great pullover. I like it. Has pockets. Different. Like it. Already set the price. Wonderful. Downtown check. Forty two fifty for ninety. This is a carryover. Not the best selling pan of all because it's a check pan. But I like it. And there's totally people who can pull this off. And there's actually uh, I do know that some ladies were buying this kind of thing for the summer in the crops, high waisted, very cool. Anyway, uh, great tan, 43.50 for 90. This is a mild long sleeve, just like riding that ragged edge of being a Canadian tuxedo kind of style shirt. 100% uh, cotton heavy twill. Yeah. What you see is what you get there, really. Double breasted pockets. I love the detail on the buttons. They're just a slightly different tone than the actual fabric. Um, yeah, looks good. Feels really nice, that heavier weight cotton twill. And it is, I already said that, excuse me. 43 hoodie for 90. Is this the cycle? Uh, there was a similar piece in fall that was like, um, it was really heavy on the hanger and it was like, it didn't show really well because it was so heavy. It was like, a, it should have been kind of folded or it would have to be folded on like a nesting table or something to sell. This is a little better. I think it demonstrates kind of that longer fit and comfort. This is a little lighter weight than that last piece. I almost feel like they should have been flipped. This is a trans-seasonal piece um, and it's 62% polyester, 32 cotton, 33 cotton, 5% polyurethane, uh, slub fabric, Rag and sleeve, nice and soft. Um, it has like some nice depth to the material, actually. Good cut, classic crew neck. That was the cycle, right? Yes. Cycle, thirty-six fifty for seventy-five. Strode, forty-six for ninety-five. Again, the neck yarn stuff. I really liked the nep yarn that we had in fall. I uh, really like this one. Uh, this is more, that cable knit to me just sort of screams holiday. Um, if you're gonna be going out to dinner, seeing family, I'll tend to be wearing something like this. But uh, yeah, that's neither here nor there, I guess. <laughs> like that's a good one. Board shorts, it's holiday. Canada. Is there really a lot else to say there? I like them. They're nice wash down blue. Like the horizontal stripes. But I don't think I'm going to wear them because it's holiday. Unless I go on vacation. I like this jacket. This is the reversal jacket. Um, this is a fleece lining, like polar fleece lining. Very soft, really nice. Um, <clears throat> and because it is fully reversible, it's like two jackets in one. Now, I think that I would honestly probably never wear the fleece on the outside uh, because I like the color of that shell a lot. I think that's killer. But some people want to wear all black and I dig it. Um, just like all our other reversible pieces, 
when they reverse, they actually do have some minimal branding. So it is like a fully featured piece. There's your actual reverse pockets as well. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a good piece. I feel like this wins over the coach's jacket as far as usability in our climate. Then the reversal is on the next page. Stuff together. Reversal, seventy-four fifty for one fifty-five. Okay. Downtown Twill, forty-three fifty for ninety. Now. It's hard to tell on this one. The catalog makes it look quite a bit darker. Where like the primary pant that's after it almost looks like this sample, but they're not the same. This is its own piece. I really like this. The primary pants carry over, obviously. Uh, the downtown twill is also, but I just really like this color. Uh, insignia blue. Yeah, 98% cotton, 2% spandex twill. It's a six inch inseam and so our classic kind of chino styling you know well pockets button has a little stash pocket here these are really nice i really like this color i'm kind of wearing something no they're not similar but i like blue pants so there you go. i don't have the primary here i did in my samples um, but it's a carryover we've had it for quite some time and now the Tropic Utility, which is the last collection in here, I love all the olive stuff. Uh, the first piece here, though, is Aqua T. Aqua's 22 for 45. Nice little print. Great pocket tee here in the Shores tee. And the Shores is. 22 for 45 as well. Yeah, and I'm stoked on I really like the olive stuff. I think that looks awesome. I don't mind the white either, but I'll wear that. I really like that. Baja. 24 50 for 50. Nice and soft. color you call that sunshine almost light lemon sure. good piece for our environment here it's the duty long sleeve 100% cotton shell and the lining is 100% polyester this is quilted there was a darker kind of more like traditional flannel block in fall this is a nice, almost like Bob and Doug, Bob and Doug McKenzie-esque. Dig it. And it is called the Undisputed, no, Duty Long Sleeve, excuse me. And the Duty Long Sleeve is 53 for 110. Super is next. Love this. Really like, kind of like the waffle thermal tees. Uh, I used to do Deus Ex Machina and they had a, quite a few of those pieces and I, I think they were kind of a little bit ahead of their time because I'm starting to see more of this stuff and it did sell well for banks in the previous seasons I've had. There was a bone one, there's been a black. Um, I think there was even a baked clay one too. These have done well because they're again that kind of that upper end of the basics, something you can wear. It doesn't have a big logo on the front of the back. It's going to keep you warm. You can layer it. I just really like it. And it just, Feels awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, hundred percent organic cotton, and uh, twenty six fifty for fifty five. It's actually a really good price for that too. Killer. Love this. Uh, the fall version of this was black, like a wash black. <clears throat> uh, this is called the undisputed long sleeve. 
I did skip a hat, but I'm just going to quickly go back. That's the Baja hat, and that is that 21 wheel micro corduroy. Great patch on the front, and that one's snapback. And for 22, for 45, that. And the yellow shirt was actually called the Trooper. No? So where's the Baja shirt? 2450. Excuse me. Where's the Trooper? Excuse me, Trooper is the waffle. <laughs> and the Trooper is, yeah, 2650 to 55. I get confused. Pardon me. Anyway, <clears throat> undisputed long sleeve woven, 4350 for 90, 100% cotton. This feels awesome. It's just, yeah, chilly. Just really good, army inspired. It is very washed down like on the edge of being almost kind of primer gray. Um, the color does say all of military, but it, I, gotta, I just have to be honest, it is quite washed down, uh, but in a good way. <laughs> and I think this would look awesome as it wears too, because it's gonna get kind of scuffed up and you'll really start to see those collar and, and all the folds and every little detail in it. Yeah, I really like it. That's a good one. Of this. This is the Grand Deluxe Fleece. 100% polyester, lining is 100% cotton. That was the shell. Lining is 100% cotton. Uh, this is so nice. Like, I really like these. We had a, I want to say it was baked clay in fall, same silhouette, kind of that western jacket. Uh, so you can see, like, the yoke detail across the back there and in the front. I don't believe the other one had pockets. This one has these flat zip pockets, which I really like. I like the detail on this piece better too than I liked the Teddy Fleece one, the the baked clay one. And I, again, I love all of I feel I'm feeling all for holiday, and I think that this will be a bestseller for sure in the jackets. And the price doesn't hurt either. 50 50 from 105. That is like rad for what it is. It's really nice. Uh, and this is again taking a fall style, doing a holiday turn on it. Love the olive. There was a black, excuse me, it was dark blue in fall. Uh, I believe it's probably even called the same thing. The Drifter? Let's check, go check that. Yeah, Drifter. It was a dark blue version of this. This is a heavy um, cotton twill. It says cotton drill in the catalog, by the way. But uh, yeah, military styled. You can see the stitched back label there for the inside of it. It's just like so nice. Good heavy duty jacket. And price on that was 70 for 145. <clears throat> Preston always does well. I can see why, because the price is amazing for what it is. 34 for 70. Yeah, 34 for 70. That olive is by far my favorite of the two, but can't go wrong with that Heather Gray. Uh, these always do well. And transitional stuff does well, and of all our kind of like more crewish sweaters. The Vision and the Preston by far outsell everything else, in my opinion, uh, in the basics, in the like woven basics. Yeah. Killer. Love it. Really, really like that olive. Really like the pants, too. <clears throat> this is the chamber pant, I believe. No, I am missing one style. I don't have it. That's the chamber knit, which looks awesome. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it. Which is 46 for 95. Primary beanie. Three new color, two new colors here, the bone and the olive, and then carryover black. And those are the same price as they were before, I believe. 
Yep, 1950 for 40. Very good. Our pennies do well. And then we're supply pant, which I thought I brought with me the carryover piece. I do have it in fall. So you've seen that in fall already. And then we're in the botanicals. This is the Florence short sleeve woven. And you get another piece in the same material. Florence short sleeve, 100 percent cotton. That's our standard fit collar. Nice flower print. Coconut buttons. And 41 for 85. The short is 36.50 for 75. Full elastic waist. Drawstring. Nice by the poolside. Wash down. And then your other kind of resort wear pieces here. This is the Cuba short sleeve, 100% cotton. This is the Camp Collar. Uh, nice and soft, a little bit lighter weight than the last piece. You can kind of, uh, in the right light, you can kind of see through this fabric. It's like a very light cotton. And there's your short, and that's the Cuba board short, 17 inch out seam. That's 97% cotton uh, and 3% spandex. This has been washed down. You can even tell just holding it, it looks great. Um, but they do go quite well together for your man suit needs. And the short sleeve is 41, and the short is 36.50 once again. Last two pieces here. <clears throat> your T, cube the T, 22 for 45. Palm fronds. And your hoodie. Nice navy blue, insignia blue in this case. Actually, no, they've said dirty de denim, excuse me. That's dirty denim. 80% cotton, 20% recycled polyester. Really good. And that's it, that's holiday. Uh, the deadline was supposed to be the 15th. It is not the 15th anymore. It is the 22nd. Um, times are crazy. I understand it, it's probably bizarre even looking at product right now. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to look at it if you didn't skip through everything. <laughs> um, if you do place a holiday booking and things go south or go sideways or go to the moon, uh, like I said, I'm here and I'm going to do whatever I can to keep things on track and uh, help you as a retailer. Uh, and I want to help banks show what they have brought to the ball game. The show will go on. Um, we're all going to have to make adjustments, and uh, I hope that these last two months, as insanely disruptive as they've been, hopefully somewhere in there there's been some time for everyone to have reflection on ways they can do business better and more efficiently. And uh, if there's anything I can do to help you as a rep, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I appreciate your time. If you do choose to make a holiday booking, super pumped. And uh, like I said, if things change, I'll do whatever I can to make adjustments for you and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Stay safe and positive where possible, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. No show has been canceled. Uh, I still have a trends booking for September. Uh, I gotta be honest, actually, trends has been amazing with the rep groups and are allowing us to kind of like right up to the end cancel. I wanna be there, I wanna see people, uh, whether I'm wearing a face mask and gloves or a full Ghostbuster suit, whatever I got to do to show people, I will be there. S Banks will be there. Whatever I'm doing, I'll be there. Especially Surf Soak will be there, especially for holiday because it's a really important season. Um, but I hope to, I get to see you then. For spring, most likely going to hit the road because um, without no show, there's a lot of people I want to see and uh, I'm going to be doing that via vehicle as long as they'll be happy to see me. So I'll be reaching out to everybody once I know more on that. Uh, and yeah, away we go. Thank you.